Ocean Sunlight, How Tiny Plants Feed the Seas, by Molly Bang and Penny Chisholm. Dive into the sea, now flip over slowly, and look up. The water is shimmering with light, my light. I am your sun, your golden star. All ocean life depends on me, so does all life on land. In your forests, prairies, and your gardens, green plants catch my sunlight energy. They pump in water from the ground and pull in carbon dioxide from the air. Plants use my energy to build these molecules into sugar. All the while, the plants send oxygen into the air, the oxygen you breathe. This is photosynthesis. Plants making life light, my light. Animals, yes, animals like you. Eat the plants or you eat other animals that have eaten plants. You are links in food chains, the chains of life. And as you eat, you break apart the sugar from the plants, crack. And you use its energy, my energy, to live. You breathe out carbon dioxide and the plants pull it back in. Everything is connected. All ocean life is part of food chains too. And every ocean food chain starts when plants catch my light. But where are the ocean's plants? The seaweeds you find growing along the shore feed some sea creatures living there. But in the vast open ocean far from land, do you see seaweed forests, seaweed gardens, seaweed prairies? No, you see no green at all, none. In the open ocean, you see only blue, water. Then where are the ocean's green plants? They're right before your eyes. They're everywhere in countless shapes and sizes, but they're so small you need a microscope to see them. A billion, billion, billion of these tiny plants, that's one sextillion, are drifting in your seas. They are called phytoplankton. Phytoplankton form the great invisible cluster of the sea. Take a deep breath. Half of the oxygen you breathe every day comes from growing plants on land. The other half is bubbling out of all the tiny phytoplankton floating in your seas. Phytoplankton can grow very fast. If it has enough light and nutrients, one phytoplankton can grow and become two in just a day or so. It splits into identical twins. So the billion, billion, billion phytoplankton in the oceans make another billion, billion, billion of themselves every few days and just as fast as they make more of themselves. They're bobbled up. Animals, mostly tiny ones called zooplankton, eat about a billion, billion, billion phytoplankton every day. So phytoplankton numbers stay about the same. As the zooplankton grow and make more of themselves, bigger creatures bobble them up about as fast as they are made. And so it goes, my light energy first caught by phytoplankton flows through the ocean's chains of life from the tiniest green plants to the biggest fish or whale. But here's a puzzle for you. My light cannot reach deeper than the ocean's thin top layer. So that is where the phytoplankton have to live. The deep cold waters underneath are pitch black dark, darker than the darkest moonless starless night. Phytoplankton cannot live there, but lots of animals do. Where do these animals get their food? Some use their glowing lights to lure and eat them. Some eat each other. Some swim up at night to feed on phytoplankton. Others wait. They wait for snow. This snow isn't made of ice. Marine snow is tiny flakes from living things. As animals and phytoplankton live and die, their poop and mucus, carcasses and guts sink down and down like falling flakes of snow. Marine snow is nutritious food for bacteria and other creatures living in the sunless valley of the sea. Nothing goes to waste. As bacteria and animals eat the fallen snow, they break it down and push leftover nutrients and carbon dioxide out into the black deep sea waters. But wait, phytoplankton all live in the sunlit surface waters miles above. You need those nutrients to make more of themselves, and without more phytoplankton, the ocean and animals will die. How can those deep, dark waters, rich with nutrients, rise all those miles back up into the light so that phytoplankton can use them once again? I, your sun, pour my light into earth each day. My sunlight powers wind that build great storms and mix the water layers of the seas. My light helps drive enormous currents. They thrust the deep sea waters, rich with nutrients and carbon dioxide, up, 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 all the way back up. 
to the sun-filled topmost layer where the billion, billion, billion phytoplankton pull those nutrients and carbon dioxide in again and catch my light again. Now they can keep my sunlight energy flowing, ever flowing through your chains of life. I am your sun. My light gives life to your burning earth and to your deep and restless seas.